Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Um, Liz here, we are in my family room. I'm going to attempt a very large piece of wall art today for right here above our sectional. We need something really big and everything really big is really expensive. So I had this idea when I was walking through Target the other day and I saw this shower curtain and the colors were just perfect for our family room. And I thought, I wonder if I could like create some sort of like tapestry thing going on. Like if I, you know, got a couple pieces of wood, one for the top, one for the bottom, and attach them to it and hung it above our sofa. I wonder what that would look like. And it would be super cheap. So I'm going to attempt that today and I'm gonna take you along and we're gonna cross our fingers, guys, <laughs> that this works and that it looks good. So I don't know. We'll see. If this works, it's gonna be like a huge piece of wall art with no power tools. I'm not even using scissors. Um, I'm using a staple gun and a shower curtain and two pieces of wood. And then I am gonna use a little like peel and stick fabric tape just to kind of cut it or just to put it in half. Um, so we'll see. Cross your fingers. Here we, here we go. This is the big shower curtain. All I did was fold it in half and I ironed it. Um, and I am going to add some of this fabric fuse peel and stick tape, basically it's just double-sided fabric tape. And I'm gonna put it along, you know, just to, I wanted to, to, instead of just cutting this in half, I wanted to just layer it because I have like half green walls and half white walls. And I was afraid that, you know, you'd see through. Um, so I'm doubling it up, so I'm just going to use this fabric fuse tape to just, you know, make it secure two layers. And then um, I'm going to staple the fabric to these pieces of wood. So hang tight. If you've never used this um, fabric fuse stuff, it's awesome. You just lay it down and then you'll just peel. See if I can do this with one hand. I'm failing miserably. Hold on. Okay, here you go. It's just like, just like a sticker. You just pull that off and then you lay down the fabric and then it just sticks and you're all good to go. It's like double-sided tape for fabric. So I'm gonna finish doing that along this seam and take you on to the next step. Okay guys, now I have laid one of the pieces of stained wood on top and I'm just going to fold it over and then I'm literally going to just use my staple gun and staple all along the back and then I'll flip it back over. Okay, so I stapled along the back of this top piece and I'll flip it over and then we will now tackle this bottom one. So I fold it over the second piece and just stapling it all along and then I'll flip it over and we're gonna cross our fingers how many times have I said that in this video <laughs> guys in case anybody's wondering how I'm go oops, sorry just the camera how this is gonna mount to the wall I put two of these very large teeth guys in the wood so I'm going to go hang an extra long two extra long nails because it's gonna be going over board and batten and then we'll see how this looks all right, you guys, she's up, she's done, 35 bucks in about an hour's worth of time. Now, in a perfect world, I'm not gonna lie, I would love to see some sort of really large, like round architectural piece, something really cool that breaks up all the squares and the straight lines in here. But you know, those things take time to find. And in the meantime, you know, this didn't cost a lot of money, didn't take a lot of time. So I am cool. I hope this inspires you next time you see a pretty shower curtain at Target. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.